Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're going to be revisiting the animated lower thirds that a lot of y'all have been having problems with in the latest version of OBS. So we're just going to install it all over again and make sure we get it working for you. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. It's just first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on the channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. Let's go ahead and cut over and just get this done, shall we? All right, we're here on our desktop. First, let's make sure we're going to the latest and greatest version of the animated lower third. Now, granted, this was updated in... It's saying it's the latest, but this was last updated January 23rd, 2021. This is version um, 1.6. So we already got this downloaded here. I am in OBS here, and this is version 27.2.4. Let's just check to make sure there are no updates. Boom. So we're good to go. So now... First thing we need to do, and I've done this before, is make sure when you put this, um, you're going to have to do some settings. I don't like putting this in the OBS folder under program files or whatever the equivalent is for the Mac. Um, I will do this again on my um, iMac, I mean my Mac when I get a chance. But I like to put this in a folder that I just happen to have is the OBS complete bundle that I still have here. I put this out here. You can just make another folder um, off of your root so you can just have assets or call it whatever you want to and do it there. That's how I'm going to do mine that helped me get less issues. So we got the latest version here. I take this entire folder and put it out over here like that. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is open up the animated files and we need to set permissions and unblock a bunch of stuff. I like just to do all the files just to make it safe and easy. Let's go to common, the CSS, and we're just going to go one off on each one of those. Go to properties, unblock all of these. That's two. That's three. Themes is not really that important. Let's go to JS properties, unblock. I really wish I could just highlight all of these and unblock it once, but it doesn't let you do that. So you got to do one at a time. Unblock properties, unblock. All right, we're going to come back out of the common folder. We're going to go to the lower thirds folder. We're going to do the same thing. Properties, unblock. Properties, unblock. Properties, unblock. All right, let's keep this window open. We're going to hold down the shift key, and this is the Windows version. Hold down the shift key and we're going to click right click on control panel and we're going to do copy as path. All right. Let's go back over here to OBS. We're going to go to docs, custom browser docs, give it a name, lower thirds. Oh, if I spell it right, thirds, come over here to the URL, right click and paste. Get rid of the double quotes at the beginning and the end. Apply. Boom. That's working. I'm going to move this over here for right now. Now we're going to come down to our source. We're going to do a plus. We're going to find a browser. Call this one, whatever. I'm just going to call it the same thing. Lower thirds. And I am doing 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to do 1920 for my width. And honestly, the height is fine because it's not going to take up the whole screen. So I'm going to leave it at 600. Now, what we're going to do is go back to the folder that we had open, hold down shift, right click on browser source, copy as path, come back to OBS. Here in the URL, we're going to paste. Get rid of the double quotes at the beginning, at the end. Okay. 
And there we go. Now, obviously, I would slide this down. If you don't like the size, you can always play around with the size. And I'm just going to go ahead and fire this up. And there we go. So just make sure. So actually, let's go back in here, and I can shrink this a little bit more. And I'm going to say, let's do 300. And that's still more than enough for me. So if I came in here... And choose the image. Let's see. We can put my new logo on here. I think this was still the location of that. All right. I think the logo is all about where it's placed at. So let's come back. Here, it's going to go to logos, and I'm wondering. Let's go to properties. Up, oh, these are unblocked. These are blocked, so we got to unblock those too. But more importantly, I think putting these in a specific path actually helps. Looks like that was still a part of the issue. So let's go ahead and I'm going to copy my logo that I just did. I'm going to place it in this logos folder and see if that resolves that little issue of getting our logo in place. Let's copy, paste. I'm going to go back to the folder where I place these logos. And there it goes. So make sure you put all your logos in the logo folder of the animated lower thirds. That just works for me. And as you can see, let's go ahead and put um, Jay Holmes, he missionary. And then we still got the settings on. You can play around with everything, the colors and all this other fun stuff. So, you know, you can change whatever if you want. All right, now the last thing that I forgot to do <laughs> is come in here and we're gonna go to tools and scripts and we need to make sure that we have our lower third um, here. That way we can use our custom keys to make shortcuts here. So I already added this, but let's just go ahead and remove it and we just add and we're gonna go back to our folder here. Animated lower thirds. I think it was what lower thirds and then we just do the Lua, um, Lua file or however you pronounce it and that's it we just got to make sure that's done and now if you go into settings and you can go to hotkeys you should if we filter now we have our switches here so if I just happen to do shift Q shift W or something like that for the first one I can now do shift W and I will turn this on and off. You can make the hot keys whatever you want, but that's the other thing that you got to make sure that you do. There you go. Your animated lower thirds are back in place. Just make sure the main thing is that you are on the latest version of the um, animated lower thirds. I will have a link down below to that and make sure that you copy the entire file path and you get rid of those double quotes. If you want me to do this on the Mac, please let me know. I have the M1 that's been sitting here being all lonely with nothing to do. So we can do a video of that as well too. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video later. <laughs>